Church Tech Weekly presents Infocom 2013, brought to you by Bose Professional Systems, committed to developing best-in-class products, tools, and services to create original audio experiences. All right, well, it's day three of our Infocom 2013 coverage, and uh, we're starting off by coming over to the Pivot Tech booth. Now, Pivot Tech, if you remember from a year and a half ago, we did uh, some coverage of this at NAM, and, um, you know, it wasn't quite there yet. It was a great concept, but it wasn't quite ready. Well, it's here, it's ready, it's got a brand new interface, and I'm here with Tom Niesel. He's going to kind of show us the new interface. We've got some new hardware options, and uh, really a pretty great system and integration. So, uh, Tom, take it away. Great. Thanks, Mike. Yeah. Yeah. Um We've just released our new VTix, V2 Mix Pro app for iOS and now supports iPads, iPod Touches, iPhones, the iPad Mini. But the new V2 Mix Pro app, probably the biggest feature is it supports both screen orientations. So that's a first in the mixing industry for iPad apps. And the great thing about that is now if your church is doing your iPad workflow for sheet music, like with Planning Center or something, now you can do a four finger swipe. You've got your sheet music, straight back over to your monitor mix, everything automatically logs back in and syncs up. It's great. A couple of new features on the app too. It's an eight channel layout, so it's very user friendly. Uh, in addition to the fader control, we've also got plus minus one dB increment steps, so you can fine tune that mix, which is so important when you've got an in-ear mix. We also do stereo linking, so you can stereo link channel pairs now, so they operate as one. But another critical thing we did there is we kept the panning individual so you can still steer your stereo mix left or right. So if you've got a busy mix but you still want the stereo, you can pan the, steer the mix where you need it and still make it audible and legible. The mix interface is laid out in four banks of, 30, of eight channels to get a total of 32 in the mixer. Then we also have a new custom layer. And the custom layer allows the musician to choose any eight of the 32 digital channels that are coming into the mixer and put them right here on top for quick access. Finally, we round out with a limiter. So it's a two to one soft knee compressor with uh, you're basically adjusting the threshold level here. So you can dial in your mix, dial in a little compression, and now you don't have to worry about peaks taking your hearing out. So great. Yeah. Yeah, it's very, very cool. It's a great, great, great looking interface. Looks much, much better. And then the heart of the system is really kind of this uh, this little box here, which can either be mounted on the uh, music stand right by the artist uh, as a, in, for a bass player or a guitar player that's not moving around very much, or I see you guys have these in a rack now, so you can just connect wirelessly to the network, control it, and then have it right next to the wireless ears. Right, yeah, this was a new interface uh, layout for us, but you simply take the same E32 mixer, mount that in the rack adapter bracket, then you can mount them three up in a one use space, and that's ideal for wireless IEM. And so now the wires are out of the way, but the great thing for the customer to remember is that they don't have to buy two different mixers. So if your production needs change week to week, you can literally take this out of the rack, mount it on a stick, or take it off the mic stand and put it in the rack. So it's a very affordable way solution of getting more out of your product as the system grows. Yeah. Yeah, it's very, very cool. And now these are shipping, and what is the uh, price point of these? Uh, the list price on the E32 mixer is $7.95. And shipping now? It is shipping now, yes. Yeah. And if, if uh, people want to learn, oh, and you also have a my card for uh, the Yamaha Digital stuff. Yeah, we do have the uh, MY card for Yamaha Digital consoles, so it supports any of the newer LS9, M7, PM5D, CL5s, yeah, any of those new consoles. And it's uh, you can do multiple cards in the console, so if you want to do a 32-channel, 48-channel, 64-channel network, this will support it. Awesome. Um, let's see, what other questions do I have? It's uh, available for iOS, uh, so f iPhone, iPad, iPad mini, all available there, which is really nice. Yeah, and um, yeah, so if they want to learn more, what's the website to learn more about? Uh, pivotech.com, P-I-V-I-T-E-C.com. All right, so there you go. Great new interface from Pivotech. So another, another solid entry in the personal mixer space. Mm -hmm.